day class. In this video, we are going to discuss the acute waist strain and the sciatica. The acute waist strain, the presentation of the patient also may present as the, the pain in the lower back. But in this situation, the patient, most of the patient have the history of injury. The injury can be the improper movement or fall or sudden muscle strain or the improper position. So the patient may present as acute lower back pain. This disease is involved in the soft tissue and so it's more related to the muscles. It is not the damage of the skin, not the fracture, not dislocation of the vertebrae. This pain sometimes can be very severe, so sometimes the, pa the patient even cannot move. The main cause for this problem is the damage of the soft tissue in the lumbar region. The most common cause is the, the subtle movements, especially if moving something, the, the posture changing. Some other Causes can be severe coughing, continuous sneezing. The continuous sneezing, the patient continues to sneeze for 10 or 20 times, and then all of a sudden, the patient after sneezing, the patient presents as the low back pain. Similarly, the yawning. So these are the possible causes. This is actually the other factors that increase the pressure in the abdomen so it also may result in the waist strain can be sweating it may or may not so it, it does, the patient doesn't have to present as swelling but the pain the patient will present as pain and limitation of movement so the most common situation the patient could not the, the patient cannot turn, le turn to the left or turn right. The patient cannot bend down. History of lumbar sprain. So the history of the, the injury. The onset can be immediately or in a few hours or even one or two days. Depends on the situation. Limitation of the movement. The pain is worse when coughing or sneezing. Is worse when the pressure in the abdomen is increase, in, increase is increasing. The treatment principles: you can activate the blood circulation, relieve the the pain. We can use archer points or points on the foot Tai Yang meridian. Why we use the foot Tai Yang meridian? This is very similar to the lower back pain because of the bladder meridian. Foot Tai Yang is the bladder meridian. So we can use the local points, bladder 23, archery points, the actual UE7, Yao Tong, Yao Tong Xue is on the, on the hand, Wei Zhong, Wei Zhong, bladder 40. Bladder 40 we're going to use, we, you, you can use Quick to cause bleeding, especially if you can see the blue veins um, around blood 40 that you can use. Severe pain in the middle of the lumbar, you can as do 26, sun jiao 3. Acute pain, you can use strong stimulation. You can use your hand, you also can use the electricity. Heavy edge needling technique, blood 40, to, you're going to Quick to cause bleeding. Actually, UE7. We're going to use 54 needles until the Qi arrival. The point is here, although in the textbook we have the specific location for actual UE7 in the practice, you're going to palpate the patient uh, the hand from the from here to the end. From here to the end. You're going to palpate on each spot, now you're going to ask the patient which points they feel more sensitive. 
then you're going to insert in that on that point. So on both sides, if the patient doesn't present any sensitive points, you don't have to insert all needles. So for the acute waist strain, uh, sometimes sometimes the first choices will be actual UE7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the needles on the hand. I'm going to manipulate until qi arrival, so the patient may feel like this tending feeling or swelling feeling. And then in the meantime, I will keep the needle there, ask the patient to move with the waist. Or ask the patient to move around, to walk around, to walk upstairs or downstairs, to turn left and turn right and try to bend. This technique is the needling, needling technique with movement. This kind of technique we also use for furrowing shoulder. We put the needles on the leg. In the meantime, we ask the patient to move the shoulder. So for the acute waist strain, we're going to put the needles in. We're going to ask the patient to move the waist. A few aspects that we need to consider Firstly, the acupuncture treatment is quite effective for this problem, especially in the acute stage. So the sooner the better. If the patient waits for a few weeks and still feel the pain after injury, after a few weeks, the results won't be as good as immediate treatment. So the sooner the better. But when you apply acupuncture, same as the lower back pain, you need to exclude fracture or dislocation. The approach that we ask the patient to move the affected area while the needle's in, we will select the distal point. And the, in the acute state, in the acute stage, resting is very important. So do not exercise. Sciatica. Sciatica also very common in our, in our practice. The one of the most typical symptoms, although the, the nerves from the lower back, the patient sometimes they, they don't have any kind of sensation in the lower back, the more common manifestation is the pain along the leg. So the patient will tell you that the, the, they can feel the pain either at the back of the, the thigh or on the side. Sometimes the pain can travel all the way to the calf sometimes to the foot. So if you see a patient present as the pain all over the, all over the leg, then you, know, you can diagnose as sciatica. You also need to exclude other diseases. For this pain, the cause is because the, the nerves, it can be the swelling of the nerves, it also can be the dislocation of the vertebra. So cause the, the gap between the vertebra, the slightly change of the vertebra. So the patient may present as burning sensation, aching, or even severe pain in the leg. So this is the referral pain, radiating. As you can see here, we have discussed this many diseases that are similar manifestation and due to objection. So we, when we study the theory, where does the, the pain come from? Either the blockage or lack of, lack of nourishment. So in this kind of situation, the blockage, injury, humid, dampness, coldness, not no way enough clothes. I'm heat. The most common symptoms that the patient may present as shocking pain, burning sensation and tingling. But if you will radiate to the calf, to the thigh, or the calf, even the foot. You also can do the positive, the straight leg raise test, S L R T, positive. We see the potty sun 
Apart from this physical examination, you, you also need to consider the image or x-ray, CT or MRI. To conduct the test, have your patient in supine lying position. Normally, you would start by assessing the unaffected leg first. Then, flex your patient's leg at the hip joint whilst keeping the knee in a fully extended position and ask your patient to inform you once symptoms occur. Normally, you would expect ridiculous symptoms to occur in the range between 35 to 70 degrees of hip flexion. If pain is elicited past this range, this pain is mostly coming from the lumbar spine or the sacroiliac joint. To further assess the neurological tissue, perform a straight leg raise test until symptoms occur, move out of the painful range, and then either dorsiflex the ankle, which is referred to as the Braga's sign, or ask your patient to maximally flex the neck, which is referred to as the Neri sign. If pain is elicited during any of those two maneuvers, it indicates stretch of the dura mater or a lesion within the spinal cord, which could be caused by disc herniations or tumor. So this is the SLRT. This test is very important for the. This test is very important to test the the problems in the lower back. There are two types nerve roots affected. The patient mainly presents in the lower back region. So in the lumbar region, we present as the pain. The nerve trunk affected. The nerve trunk, the patient may present as the, the, the pain more obvious in the leg where the sciatica nerve distributes, but not as obvious as the nerve roots. On the lower back region. So the nerve root is more presents from the lower back, but for the nerve chunk, it's more on the leg. The causes can be any causes, any factors that's causing this space become smaller, or the nerves become swelling, so the nerve the nerve itself becomes bigger. Or the dislocation of the vertebra also will re reduce the space here that can result in sciatica. The treatment principles still activating qi and blood circulation, relieving the pain. Although we always talk about activating qi and blood, but how to activate the qi and blood are very different. Although the treatment principles are the same. So it will depend on the presentation of the patient. If the patient presents as the pain from the back, so the patient says from the lower back on the hip and presents at the back of the thigh, the back of the calf, then we're going to use foot tai yang subtype, GP30, GP34, brother 57, brother 36, brother 37. We're going to focus on blood meridian. We also can apply the electrical acupuncture. We also can add the low back points. If the pain presents on the side, on the side of the calf, then we can select from these points. So what we're going to do is, especially from the electrical stimulation, we're going to connect the cable, the further the better. So we don't connect the cable from the, the points next to each other. Normally what I do, I will, if I use blood assisty, which is here, then I will connect the blood assisty to GB30 or GB36 GB or uh, blood 36. So we're going to connect one pair from here to here. Another one I also will do is on the, at the lower back. No matter the patient presents as the problem in the lower back or not, if the patient presents as sciatica, 
I normally add the, the points from the lower back as well. And then I also add the electrical simulation. So most of this condition, I'm going to use two pairs of the electrical simulation, one from GB30 to bladder 60, the other one is from the lower back. If the patient presents with both, on the side and at the back, which means the, the Tai Yang meridian and the Sao Yang meridian, are both of them are affected. You're going to see that point on from these two groups. But obviously, we don't put all, we, we will not select all points. So you can see this some of the points, such as GB30, GB34, rather 40, and there's one point here, Yinmeng, rather 37. There's also Xuanzong, GB39. These points you can use if, you, if the patient presents as on both sides, both on the side and at the back. If the patient presents as the pain in the low back, you're going to add the points at the low back. The pain related to the change of the climate, as the, especially for dampness, then you can add 214. You can use muscle passion. Qi stagnation and blood stasis, again, uh, blood 17. Level 4, large intestine 4 and level 3, when you use these two together, you can activate the qi circulation, qi and blood circulation. This is a pair. Level 4, large intestine 4 and level 3. The kidney deficiency, you can add kidney 3. In the meantime, after the treatment, what, we, what I will require the patient to do is to apply heat pad or hot water bottle at the lumbar region. The more the better, at least half an hour per day. So that can help, help to reduce the pain. It also can help to increase the circulation to maintain, to prevent the lower back pain come back. You can use the combination of acupuncture and moxibustion. You also can use prick to bleed. So these are all the techniques that you can think about. The posture is very important. In the acute stage, rest and lumbar support is very important. Keep warm, that's where the hot water bottle or the heat pad. Thank you for your attention.